as well as the surrounds, what drew Andy and Alex van der Velde to the area was that their children are at school nearby. Five years earlier, their interior designer, Michelle Throssel, moved here from Joburg, so she understands their desire for the best of city living at the sea. This is spectacular, but Alex, this isn't your typical beach home. I'm getting more of a Hollywood glamour. Absolutely. We wanted something that was easy to live in. We've got a big family with lots of children and lots of friends, but we still wanted something with a bit of glamour. Now, Alex and Andy are a young couple and it was lovely when we first met because we love glamour, especially Hollywood glamour. And to put that into a beach life, it's still relaxed, but then add the elements of glitz and a little bit of glamour and mirrors and yet still laid back. And Michelle, I believe that was the chandelier that started the inspiration. It was. We looked at so many and I kept sending Alex um, pictures. What do you think? What do you think? And then when we sent her this, she said, wow, Definitely. that's it. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> so I went the chandelier and um, from there it, it sort of filtered through and you'll see a lot of shapes that are reflected off to this into the little lampshades um, even the geometrics into the cupboards the mirrors into the chairs it sort of filtered through the whole field of the house well it really is incredible can't wait to see the rest of the house shall we yes <laughs> let's go this is the bar, which there was a lot of contentious issue over this bar because, of course, Andy didn't want the blowable pub in his house. <laughs> <laughs> but I just think it's a wonderful place um, when people visit and, and Zimbabwe is such a laid back, mm -hmm. uh, you have pop-ins all the time, a lovely place to gather and just pour a drink and then move on into the lounge or whatever. But I think really the key item here is are these beautiful bar stools, Ooh, yes. which um, we very inspired by the glamour decorator Kelly Wurzler. She's the top American glamour decorator and so um, these definitely are signature to her style but also nice details like the bar showing textures yes. um, and, and then taking that through into the floor tile um, they're almost like old fossils that have been settled in these and we like the fact that it had color differentiation not yeah. flat it feels like beach sand almost. yes almost yeah. like beach and sand that's... the wine rack designed by Andy and Michelle is refreshingly unfussy for a morning coffee with a view, the breakfast table is the answer. That inviting sandy finish of the imported Mediterranean tiles leads to a master suite that's the cherry on the cake for Alex. Oh, Hollywood glamour indeed. Absolutely. <laughs> Benang, this used to be two small little rooms, really old-fashioned, with a dark passageway between them. And we just wanted to open it up, and with Michelle's guidance, this is what we got. It was absolutely beautiful. The whole colour inspiration, Benang, for this room arose from this beautiful marble tile that I found, and the soft sort of sea green. Mm. Um, and so the room evolved from there, and then touches of the Hollywood gamma, the chandelier over the bath, the Hollywood lights on the mirrors, um, on the vanity, um, just created the whole very casual, calm, but also glamorous feel in this bedroom bathroom. It really is spectacular. Feels like a little slice of heaven. This is cloud nine for Alex and her husband after long days in the logistics business. When 13-year-old Megan is back from boarding school, she finds refuge here. Oh, this is super cute. But Michelle, your signature is definitely the wall finishes, correct? Absolutely, especially geometrics. It's just a wonderful way of showing texture and pattern and the touch of gold just gives that little bit of glamour. So Michelle, this is the actual piece from Decorex. Yes, it's the actual piece hand painted by an artist. Um, and so it's more like a piece of art than wallpaper as such. But how was it created? We did lovely big boards, super wood boards, and then we plotted out the pattern and then I sat and placed the colours, how I wanted the colours to be, and then just edged with the gold and aged it. You can see it's a little bit aged, so it almost yeah. looks like it's, um, it's a little bit old in a very soft way. But Alex, how involved are the kids when it comes to decorating each of their rooms? Michelle was fantastic. She sat with each one of the children and asked them what colours they liked, what their interests were. And for instance, Kevin's room, he loves surfing. He surfs all the time and his room was around that theme. Michael's more um, sort of grown up and... More of a city boy. <laughs> yeah. More of a city boy. Yeah. And he wanted something that was sort of quite glamorous, I suppose, for a boy. And then Megan wanted something pretty and soft. 
but still not babyish. She yeah. wanted she's something growing up. up. Yeah, yeah, she's a, in her early teens, and <laughs> something that could last as well. We didn't yeah. want it to grow out of it. For sure, quickly. for sure. Yeah. yeah, and then Max's room. He loves cars, and he loves the idea of having a desk full of things. And yes, he was very, very happy. Initially hesitant about using them, when Alex saw what this ceiling-to-floor mirror did to bring natural light and the countryside indoors, she was sold. Not every room had to follow the theme, though. Benang, this is our family room where we all hang out and watch movies together and chill. Mm -hmm. Very comfy couches, nice big spaces. We can all fit on here comfortably. <laughs> and nice warm colours for the family. But nothing down here is white. No, all very comfortable. And in contrast, we've got this ornate um, peacock chair, which is quite Durban and colonial. Yeah, it looks very, very comfortable down here. Lovely. Let me try. We really this. enjoy it. <laughs> oh. Oh, okay. I see. <laughs> I see why. This is yeah. lovely. Alex and Andy have five children, but their family expands by another two or three every weekend as friends claim the prized guest bunks. Benang, this is our um, playroom for the teenagers. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> lovely. Very Lots fun. of fun. <laughs> and instead of having a single guest bedroom, we thought it would be better to have lots of bunk beds available for all our teenage guests. <laughs> yeah. So this is the reason why you don't have a guest bedroom. Yes. Yeah, we wanted it to suit our lifestyle. And rather than having a single guest bedroom, we can have a playroom with lots of um, beds for teenage visitors. But you know what I love about this room is that the bunk beds are suspended as opposed yes. to having poster beds. Different idea, just looks good and it also opens up the bottom to enable those couches or beds. Even more fun. Yes, <laughs> lots of fun. <laughs> Dad Andy may have climbed the seven summits and skied to both North and South Poles, but a day surfing with his daughter and sons is first prize. Hi guys. Hi guys. Now you can tell that this house was built for the entire family. It was, Benong. We love the beach, the kids love surfing and we wanted to have it to that there was a nice chill area out here, a place to shower outdoors and put our surfboards up on a rack. With all these teenagers, we've got so many boards and boogie boards and fins, so we had this rack custom built, so it's outside, we can wash the sand off and leave everything out here to dry. The good times roll throughout with entertainment spaces for all ages. The playroom for teenagers, the upstairs lounge for adults, swimming pool for the whole family, and then there's the sea, just over the hill. When we moved in, we got here and we said it was so beautiful and so relaxed, we just said we're not going back to Joburg. <laughs> <laughs> so, cheers, cheers to, that. to that. Here's to those who make their dreams happen. 